I lived on the street, I tried to make a living as a painter. And I was getting about $75 or $80 a painting, but it would take me two weeks to paint. And shortly after that, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. So that took me out of commission for close to 10 years. When I was a kid, I always got into trouble and my mother worried about me. And she said, join some art school, or go into a choir. And I was so restless, I got involved with really negative people. When I done the art, I felt so much better. I worked all of my life. I am now retired. And so I never had time for any entertainment whatsoever into the arts. So we're the Downtown Story Collective, and we're a group of local artists in Victoria. Uh, we're made up of painters, photographers, artists, writers. We meet on Monday evenings in the chapel of the Art Place Society. An internecine, far off murmur of motors. Is my bloody hand resting in its fellow palm? Faint, squarish light drifts along the wall. I usually start with an idea, and I find poetry is effective for describing an idea. There was one uh, poem I wrote because I, I could see all this violence and I say if you want to be cool and be in the groove don't be a violent frivolous fool and watch your every move. Put away the knife and get a real life. Put away the gun and have some real fun. Give peace a chance, give peace a dance. Liberty is like a dove, being harmony in the art of lovers, which enhance the expression of love in the spirit of two souls on fire. Liberty is like a tree which grow roots in consciousness also a tree spreading its branches of love vibration to God's spirit. I, I love writing and it's like my artistic zen. It's definitely a form of therapy, I think. Um, I remember one member a while ago, he hadn't been around in a while and we were kind of wondering where he was and he showed up for a session and you could just see kind of like the relief on his face when he arrived in the room and just kind of hearing him speak, it, he said the sessions almost had like a restorative power. Soothing tundra, spare my faces from the cold tonight. I turn and eyes guiding even in blackened skies flying low beyond the old one's care. With dark, darkness, darkness, sound and light, my spirit echoes awake. It's kind of evolved into almost like a family. It's very respectful, very supportive. I mean, you, you have someone that's trying something new or sharing an emotional story, and you'll have other people in the group kind of sit with them. Just kind of, it's very heartfelt. Anyone who writes, I get stuck now and then, and when I, that happens, uh, instead of banging my head against the wall, I like to paint or draw. And I'll work, I'll work my way through that, and then I can go back to writing. My first experience on the city transit system was a roller coaster ride. It's kind of scary to show it or to even read your story. The people here, they applaud you. I think that's what brings you out. We have our chat book that we've made, which is a compilation of artwork that we've done over the last couple of months. And we made that into a book. We have a, a community painting that we play with, so anyone is allowed to put whatever they want on it, and it just evolves over time. And so far we've uh, been able to get a couple of t-shirt designs out of it. I feel good when it's out, when it's finally done. It usually drives me nuts until I get it the way I want it. I'm just kind of happy that I you know, worked my way through that piece of work and satisfied with it. Real art from the heart. I just say to people, come up and see us sometime and check us out. Work in progress.